I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. What is the meaning of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 29, when it mentions people being baptized for the dead? Well, this is one of those verses in the Bible that just seems completely obscure in and of its own, which it is. But when you put it in the context of 1 Corinthians 15, it makes a little more sense. The entirety of this chapter of the Bible is about the resurrection of the dead. It begins in the first four verses. It's about Jesus Christ, that he lived, he died, he rose from the dead according to the scriptures. You get to the end of this passage, verses 51 through 55, is that famous passage that one day uh, we shall go from this earth to the next, the dead in Christ and alive will be transformed and be with the Lord forever. What we call one of those, quote, rapture-esque passages. But the totality of this chapter is about being raised from the dead. In fact, it mentions that if Christ be not risen from the dead, our faith is most miserable and in vain. Now, let's get to, quote, baptizing for the dead. I believe the context of this verse suits this explanation, that the Apostle Paul was dealing with believers in Corinth, which, by the way, came out of paganism and hedonism and heathenism, and they were struggling with this concept. One of the things that I think we have to, to notice in the letters of the Apostle Paul is he's always addressing issues, whether it's 1 Thessalonians and the fact that people are dying before being caught up to be with the Lord, or in the church at Corinth where they're struggling with the resurrection concept. One of the things he does is he's mentioning in this verse that even the heathen baptized for the dead. Now, he's alluding to a false pagan practice. But here's what he's doing in the context of 1 Corinthians 15, that even lost people, even people who worship false gods believe in a, quote, resurrection of the dead. How can we as believers not have a more sure prophecy? So again, some people would call it a straw man argument. I would call it more of a pole vault argument. Really, the Apostle Paul is using an argument from a false faith to Paul vault our faith into what the Bible actually advocates, that one day, because Christ rose from the dead, we shall be raised as well. It does not in any form or fashion advocate any practice of you not, quote, baptizing anybody for the dead. Great question. If you have one, send to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's Daily Question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. Net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.